Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I'm a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how Microsoft Rights Management Services, or Microsoft RMS, integrates with Microsoft SharePoint to protect data at rest. Organizations use SharePoint as a single location to store, share, and collaborate on documents. Microsoft RMS can integrate with SharePoint and SharePoint Online to provide automatic and location-based RMS protection. This means that you can configure specific document libraries and document lists that automatically apply RMS protection to a document upon download. This integration eliminates reliance on the end user to manually apply protection. Documents that have been previously protected by SharePoint have their protection stripped upon upload and are then stored in clear text to enable searching and indexing. SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online supports Microsoft Office, XPS, and PDF file formats. Support for additional file formats is provided by third-party partners. You will need an Information Rights Management Enabled PDF Reader, such as Foxit Reader, to view RMS-protected PDF files. So how does SharePoint Information Rights Management work? First, the user uploads a document to a protected document library. Unprotected documents are stored in plain text. If the document has been previously protected by SharePoint, its protection is stripped and it is also stored in plain text. This enables the documents to be accessed for searching and indexing. Then, another user with access to the document library requests the document. SharePoint validates that the user is authorized and then applies RMS protection to the document based on the permissions that have been assigned to the user in the SharePoint library. SharePoint then sends the protected document to the user. The user is able to open and use the document according to the permissions he or she has been granted. Now I'd like to demonstrate this to you. Here, Chase has just finished modifying a sensitive document that he wants to upload to SharePoint. As you can see, this document is unprotected. He'll click New Document, Browse, and navigate to the document saved location. He'll select the document and upload it to SharePoint. Now, Leia, a colleague of Chase, will navigate to the protected document library and download the document. First, Leia will click the workbook. Notice that we can view protected documents directly in Internet Explorer using Office web apps. Now Leia will download and open the document. Notice that the document is now protected with permission policy specific to this document library. Leia will click View Permission and you can find that she has contribute permissions. She can read, edit, and save the document, but cannot print it. SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint Online extend automatic protection to PDF files. Now Luke will navigate to the protected document library and download a PDF file. Notice that the PDF opens in Foxit, which is a PDF viewer that can enforce RMS permissions. Notice that the PDF has been protected. Luke will click View Permissions and you can see that he has a different set of permissions than Leia. As I mentioned, RMS permissions are assigned based on the permissions a user has within the document library. In this case, Luke has been assigned read permissions in the library and therefore is restricted to only being able to view documents downloaded from that library. Now we will look at SharePoint from the perspective of an administrator. I'll show you how to view and modify a document library's permissions policies. SharePoint provides administrators the ability to easily modify document library settings. As an administrator of the Finance Docs document library, Micah has navigated to the settings page. He'll click Information Rights Management, and you can see that this document library is IRM enabled with the Finance Documents Internal Only Permission Policy. He'll click Show Options, which will allow him to configure the document library with additional protection settings that are built into SharePoint. He can prevent users from uploading documents that do not support IRM, prevent users from accessing documents in a web browser using Office web apps, force users to provide credentials every X day, and enable a group protection. Group protection is a new feature in SharePoint Online and SharePoint 2013 that grants a use license to a group of users rather than an individual. This enables a stronger collaboration experience as a user can download content, edit it, and then send it directly to another member of the group to access. Without group protection, the first user would have to re-upload the file to SharePoint for the second user to download. Now Michael will click the back arrow and click Permissions for this document library. This brings up the list of users authorized to access the Finance Docs document library. Here we can confirm that Chase has Edit Permissions, Leia has Contribute Permissions, and Luke has Read Permissions. 
I've just demonstrated how you can use Microsoft SharePoint and Microsoft RMS integration to protect documents at rest in sensitive document libraries. You have seen that SharePoint supports Office, XPS, and PDF file formats and stores these documents in plain text to enable searching and indexing. Additionally, SharePoint automatically applies protection to documents based on the document library settings, eliminating reliance on the end user. Finally, I have shown you how you can easily change the administrative settings in a document library. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com/rms. Thank you for watching.